Almost every state has more miles of unpaved roads than paved roads. Maintaining gravel roads is just one of many things with which a road supervisor must be concerned. Maintaining secondary roads is a nuisance chore, much like mowing grass. No matter how well you perform these tasks, they still have to be done again and again. Unpaved roads cause rough rides, unsafe driving, increased maintenance, fugitive dust, increased bladings, complaints, lost aggregate, and higher costs. Just as a preventative maintenance program prolongs the useful life of a piece of road machinery, secondary road maintenance programs stabilize roads and save money for the highway department and taxpayers. Today's road supervisor knows the value of a good secondary road maintenance program. Treating secondary roads with calcium chloride is not expensive to begin with and saves money in the long run. What makes a good gravel road? Because a gravel road is generally traveled by less than 50 to 100 vehicles a day, and usually those vehicles are cars and light trucks, there isn't a lot of concern for the sub-base or base. The main concern is stabilizing the riding surface. Most of the efforts are put into keeping the surface compact and together. A surface material needs cohesion. Sands and silts have little cohesion. A binder material is necessary to give a gravel road cohesive strength. Clay is the best binder soil. Moisten clay and roll it in your hands and it forms a ball or a cigar shape. A good binder soil passes through a quarter inch sieve. The soil is gritty. When it dries it will show little or no shrinkage. Too much sand will cause the binder soil to fall apart. Too much clay and the road will mush and become slick in heavy rain and shrink in dry weather. A blend is best. Soils passing through a quarter inch sieve and down to a fine powder or dust form the best binder soils. A good surface gravel specification is aggregate in which 6 to 12 percent will pass through a number 200 sieve. 35 to 68 percent will pass through a number 40 sieve. 35 to 80 percent will pass through a number 4 sieve. And 100 percent will pass a 1 inch sieve. Dust or fines is the binder that holds the road together. The fines are the glue in the road. There has to be sufficient fines to fill the voids between each of the larger aggregate sizes. Traffic will compact these graded particles into place, interlocking them to form a dense, smooth riding surface. When the dust is vacuumed from the road by passing vehicles, the road loses its cohesion and the larger aggregate is sheared to the side by each subsequent vehicle. Soon the strength of the road is in the ditches. The road becomes hazardous to drive, and the taxpayer is complaining. The best method of keeping fines in the road is to keep the road moist. The best way to keep the road moist is by treating with calcium chloride. Of course, you don't want excessive water saturating the road surface or standing in puddles. To control rainfall by directing excess water to the ditches, the road should be crowned. An A crown should slope one half inch per linear foot. A 20 foot wide road should slope five inches from center to either side. Calcium chloride comes in both liquid and dry forms. Its chief characteristic is that it is hydroscopic and deliquescent, which means that it draws moisture and it dissolves. If you leave dry calcium chloride exposed to the atmosphere, it will dissolve and become liquid. Calcium chloride does not evaporate. It does just the opposite. It pulls moisture to it and keeps the atmospheric moisture from evaporating. Liquid calcium chloride is a heavy water white liquid. It weighs 11.5 pounds per gallon and has a high surface tension. When applied to a secondary road, it begins immediately to draw moisture from the air. It keeps drawing humidity that is needed to keep the fines moist and in place, which in turn compact and hold the aggregate in place. 
Remember, when the fines stay in place, they fill the voids and glue the road together, providing a smooth, dust-free surface. Because 99% of all traffic travels the center of any secondary road, it is best to apply liquid calcium chloride in two passes, overlapping the crown. One third gallon should be used per square yard of road surface. Wider road surfaces should have a third pass applied down the middle. A typical applicator truck has a 10-foot spray boom with individual nozzle patterns 12 to 14 inches wide. Why should you use calcium chloride instead of water? Calcium chloride controls surface moisture. It optimally maintains moisture at 8 to 10 percent. Water doesn't control moisture. Immediately after water is applied, moisture content is high. As water evaporates, the road dries out and fines become airborne dust. The road begins to ravel. When the road has optimal moisture bound by calcium chloride, dust particles in the road adhere and compact. Calcium chloride works and keeps on working. As a result of less road maintenance, you benefit from less grading, less rework, fewer man hours, lower equipment cost, less fuel, and fewer repair bills. If you use water, these savings evaporate right along with the water. Here are six excellent reasons to use calcium chloride in your secondary road maintenance program. One, it reduces nuisance and hazardous dust, thereby improving driver visibility. Two, it improves unpaved road quality by creating a consolidated surface that resists washboarding and allows the road to drain properly, thus providing a smoother ride. Three, it reduces aggregate loss, resulting in tightly consolidated roads, which lock aggregate in place. This saving can be substantial. Four, blading is reduced. Many road superintendents report that blading has been reduced by half. Five, it increases density. Calcium chloride has a stronger surface tension than plain water. Calcium chloride also lubricates aggregate to increase compaction. And six, it builds a compacted, stable base for roads that eventually will be paved. This will allow for a reduction in pavement thickness and preparation, which saves in paving costs. To sum it up, dust or fines in a gravel road is the glue that holds the larger aggregate in place. By adding hydroscopic calcium chloride, moisture is drawn to the surface of the road and keeps the road moist. This prevents dust from being vacuumed away by passing vehicles. The result is a smoother road, reduced complaints, lower maintenance, and a happier motoring taxpayer.